So the things that you will need are a list of the exams or the exam timetable. You'll also need a list of the topics from each subject that you need to study so that you can note down how much time you need to spend on each area. And you'll also need a list of your regular weekly activities so that you can block those out. There is a variety of different revision timetables but ask yourself do you need to be strict and organized or can you be a bit more free and still get things done be honest with yourself with your list of exam topics you first need to start looking at all of the things that you need to study and breaking them down thinking about how you're going to study them and how long you're going to need so let's have a look at this one i reckon this is going to take me about 15 minutes i was quite good at that in class this one, let's have a think about that one. I think this is gonna take a little bit longer, an hour. And I think that the best way of learning this is to produce a diagram. For this one here, I think that that's a recap exercise. And this one down here, well, I missed this lesson. So I'm going to have to spend a lot longer with this one. I think an hour and a half should cover it. Now that I've got all of my notes and I'm just totting up all of my time, 30 minutes here, now I can add them up and have a grand total. So for this particular topic, I'd need to spend about three hours and 15 minutes revising. So here's a list of the entirety of my revision topics. I've totaled up the time and I estimate it to be about 24 hours revision. So this document has been made with sheets um, and I've put all of my uh, regular times um, and events in and I've also scheduled my classes. Um, this is the first day, this is inset day, so better get started on the revision. I've tried to bunch my revision together a little bit so that I'm active. I've also scheduled myself some days off during half term because it's really important that you get some downtime. And I've also scheduled in some time for checking and amending my timetable and also I've got a code, so R is revision, T is test, and then I've colour coded all of the different slots. Now the thing about this is it's easy to amend, it's always accessible via Google and you can add as much detail as you like and you can customise it. The downsides are is you have to spend quite a lot of time sorting it all out. As you get closer to your exams um, it's always a good idea to schedule in tests. So I've actually scheduled in time to test my whole knowledge about the whole topic, so a whole subject area. And then in the week of the exams, I've left a lot of free time so that I can amend my timetable and put in anything I've missed out. This study planner has come from the Get Revising website. So it's really easy to register and you just lose your login to access it. Being web-based, as long as you've got internet you can access it via your phone it chunks time together and it puts the information together for you i didn't find that particularly useful however if you're struggling to work out when to do your revision this is quite a good option you can add in your weekly activities so that it blocks it out it also blocks out your school time, so it won't try and schedule a revision activity during that time. So here I'm just putting in some swimming and it will appear at the bottom and it will appear weekly. Looking at here, as I was on half term, it didn't use my school hours, which was a bit frustrating. And it also block booked two sets of ICT revision, which wasn't particularly useful. You can change and add all of the different subjects you're doing, amend the level and also set target grades. And you can give 
the time that you're away for classes into it. You can also set yourself reminders via email that you've got a study session coming up. You can also customise your different study slots so you can actually say what you're going to do, make plans, make notes about what you're going to do in that section and you can colour code your subject areas. This app is called My Study Plan and it's very similar to the Get Revising website except for it's an app. So you schedule in how much revision you need to do for which subjects. So here we're just putting in a new subject area, the amount of time that you think you need to study it and then we'll save that. Um, we'll also put in the date of the exam. There we go, so it's now added it to my list. So you can then amend your priorities. So if you think you've got a particular subject that you're stronger at and you don't need to do quite so much revision, then it won't schedule as many slots. And if you've got a subject that you think you need to focus on, then it will do that. You can set the amount of time that you're going to study and then press generate and it will generate a timetable for you. So it's very much like the the Get Revising one where it actually schedules the time for you. Unfortunately, it uses the time that you say each week you're going to use as opposed to the amount of time you feel you need. But you can amend those slots. So here we're just amending one. You'd always use Google Calendar, so you can schedule in things that happen weekly. Um, so here we've got all of my school events and also anything that I do after school. You can then timetable your revision activities. So here I'm popping in a revision session. So there it appears. Here's another revision session that I'm scheduling. With this, you can also add in any details about what you're going to do. So you can make notes such as using a mind map or looking at revision cards. You can colour code each of your icons too, so that might help you. The good thing about this is that it's always accessible and it's easy to print off. However, there is an awful lot of things that you will need to input into it in order for it to work, such as the times you're at school, the times that you do out school activities, but it is easy to amend. You can always put together a timetable on paper. You could draw out a grid or you could be using one like a template. So here I've used the same one that I used in the sheets and I've written in all of the different things that I need to revise or test myself on. I've colour coded it so that it's easy to see and I've also put in some time where I check and amend my timetable I've put in blocks where I'm not going to be doing anything and also put in my weekly events. You could always try using post-it notes as I have done here on a timetable. So again, I've used the same one as my sheets and I've written all of the different things I need to revise on colour coded post-it notes. I've split them up into 30 minutes time slots roughly and then I can stick them on the relevant box and then that means that I can easily amend it and I can move it about and I can see what it is that I'm supposed to be revising and when. This might work for you if you have quite a flexible lifestyle, you do things a bit more impulsively than other people 
downsides of this is you will need to be able to pin this somewhere to like a notice board or blue tack it to a wall and it needs to be reasonably big so that you can see it and that you can get enough information on each of those notes. So my top tips for revision would be to make sure you plan your revision timetable very early. Uh, the earlier the better because you always miss time or something will come up or something will happen. And also add in extra slots in your revision timetable to, um, in case something happens and you have to miss a chemistry slot, for example, you can always do it at the end. And then finally, I'd say make sure you leave time to test yourself on the knowledge. So don't just spend all of your time uh, writing out notes and using flashcards and whatever. Make sure you actually do some tests and do some exam practice because it's really helpful and it can really, really benefit you.